White Sox catcher Giovanni Soto said he was shocked when he saw the first images of destruction in his homeland of Puerto Rico in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. It was unbelievable, Soto said before the Sox faced the Royals on Friday night at Guaranteed Rate Field. We try to do the best that we can do with the preparation. After you have done everything you just kind of brace yourself and keep good spirits and hope for the best. Soto, who has played only 13 games this season and has been on the disabled list since May after elbow surgery, makes his home in San Juan during the offseason and many of his relatives, including his mother and father, were on the island when the hurricane made landfall. The veteran was last able to speak to family members there via phone Wednesday. They are in good spirits, Soto said. The devastation in Puerto Rico is really significant. A lot of dangerous spots, and you don't know if there are live lines with electricity. Soto said his family's homes were not destroyed, but the entire island remains without power. It's likely he won't be going home after the season at his normal time. I have two kids and a toddler, so I don't want to put my kids in harm's way, Soto said. The best that I can for now is to try to help family out. Blister in the sun, after leaving Thursday's game in the first inning with a blister on his finger, Carson Vollmer's next start remains in doubt. When you are holding the baseball in a very sensitive spot with the fingers, you have to be able to feel comfortable with it, manager Rick Renteria said. So I think depending on how he continues to heal in the next couple of days, we'll have a better idea. But it would be premature for me to say right now that he's going to be okay for the next one. Guitar hero former Yankees great Bernie Williams performed the national anthem on the electric guitar before Friday's game. Williams was in town to raise awareness for Breathless, a campaign to encourage those who may have a diapathic pulmonary fibrosis IPF to seek early diagnosis and treatment. Williams' father, Bernab, suffered from the condition for years before passing away in 2001. We are targeting a certain amount of cities with this Breathless campaign, just creating awareness for IPF, which is a disease that took my dad's life, Williams said. It has been amazing having an opportunity to come back to the stadiums and getting a feel of what I felt like about 11 years ago. I have an opportunity to play my music at the same time 